Hey, I'm Markia. Want to hear something scary? Abducted. Looking up at the stars, it's easy to wonder if we're truly alone out in space. If there's life out there, and if there is, why hasn't it made its presence known? Or maybe it has, and it's your turn next. Your turn to be at their mercy. In a way, spooky campfire stories can be comforting. If you hear a tale of an old building curse due to some tragic event, it makes you feel better because you know to just not go into that building. But how about a home less than two years old with no history of violence or bloodshed? When Lily was 12, her family moved into an almost brand new house. The previous owners had built it, but moved away after only two years, selling it for a drastically reduced price. Lily raced her brother Ethan through the hallway on their move-in day. He beat her down the long hall to claim his bedroom. Ethan was seven and incredibly fast. The room he had chosen had a giant window facing the backyard. Lily complained to their mother, Tessa. It's not fair. He gets the bigger room with a view. Lily, in a few years, you'll appreciate having your own bathroom. Trust me, her mom said. Lily rolled her eyes and stumped off to her smaller room, trying to get excited about the bathroom. Later that night, Lily was sleeping in her bed when she heard her name. Lily. A voice whispered from down the hall. She blinked her eyes open slowly, semi-awake. Had that been a dream? Listening, but hearing nothing. She started to nod off again. But before she was fully asleep, the voice whispered again. Lily. This time, Lily sat up and looked around her dark room. It had her bedroom furniture and a few unopened boxes. Lily. The tiny voice pleaded. Lily grabbed her stuffed dog toy and quietly opened her bedroom door, moving down the hall towards the voice. The hall was dark. Lily flipped on the light. There was a popping sound and the bulb went black, leaving her in a darkness so deep she could barely see her own hand. Scared but determined, Lily made her way down the hall. Lily, the voice whispered desperately. She recognized the voice now. It belonged to Ethan. Why was he speaking so softly? Turning the knob on Ethan's bedroom door, Lily pushed it open, clutching her stuffed animal under her arm. Something grabbed her hand in the dark. It was Ethan. Somewhat frantic, he pulled her into the room. Lily, look, outside. Lily edged forward past him, focused through the window to see two pairs of green eyes glowing back in the distance. Goosebumps formed on Lily's skin. The eyes stared at her, then passed her toward Ethan. A bright light exploded inside the bedroom. Lily dropped her toy, shielding her eyes. Suddenly, in the bedroom with them stood two dark figures, the ones with the green eyes from outside. They towered over Ethan, eyes blazing. Lily froze in fear. Terrified, Ethan turned to her, whimpering, Lily, before the light exploded a second time, then all went dark. Ethan and the two creatures were gone. Ethan, she screamed but the room was silent. Running to their parents' bedroom, Lily burst inside, sobbing. She told them what happened. They ran into Ethan's bedroom, but all trace of him and those haunting green eyes were nowhere to be found. Ethan's disappearance was reported as a kidnapping. The town rallied behind the family to search the neighboring forest and the lake, looking for any sign of the little boy. But days turned into weeks, and it became all too clear that he was just gone. The family was devastated and immediately put the house up for sale. On their last night in the house, Lily startled awake at midnight, feeling herself drawn to her brother's bedroom. Again, she walked down the hall, flipping the light. It popped, leaving the hallway in darkness as she slowly opened Ethan's door. There, standing in the middle of the bedroom, was Ethan. In the moonlight, he looked much older than when she'd last seen him. She ran to him and wrapped him in a hug. Lily, he said, collapsing in her arms. The family was determined to leave the dark memory of Ethan's disappearance behind them and move to another town far away. But Ethan was never the same. The little boy who had whined at doing even the tiniest household chore now washed the dirty dishes, took out the trash, made his bed every day first thing in the morning, all without being asked. 
their parents would joke that it was like he wasn't even really Ethan anymore. When Lily asked how he had come back, Ethan grew quiet and said that he didn't remember most of it, but that the visitors were after children, that they had told him that something far worse was coming for them all, but he couldn't remember what it was. As for Lily, on the night of Ethan's return, she had caught one final glimpse of the two pairs of green, glowing eyes in the backyard. She couldn't tell how she knew, but she had felt them staring into her that last time, almost as if they had been saying, see you soon. Hey, my dark darlings. Buffy, the eco-friendly and cruelty-free bedding company, is one of the sponsors for Something Scary. Their bedding is made out of sustainable and recycled materials. I tried out their latest comforter, it's called The Breeze. When I sleep with other comforters, I sleep either too hot or too cold. Then I'm either piling blankets on or pushing them off instead of getting good sleep. But when I sleep with The Breeze, it actually regulates my temperature. My body focuses more on getting good sleep because the breeze keeps me cozy all night long without overheating. The breeze is made of hypoallergenic eucalyptus fabric inside and out, and is cruelty-free, meaning no down is used. The breeze just brings wellness to bed. Why not choose 100% plant-based bedding that's better for you and the earth? Plus, Buffy offers a free trial. You can try a comforter in your own bed for free. If you don't love it, return it at no cost. For $20 off your Buffy comforter, visit buffy.co and enter SCARY. Remember, to get $20 off your Buffy comforter, go to buffy.co and enter the promo code SCARY. Thank you to all of our patrons. While we do run a limited amount of ads, the show would not be possible without your support. If you want to keep these videos coming, please visit patreon.com snarled. Want more Something Scary? You can hear more stories over on the Something Scary podcast. Available for free on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to your favorite shows. The links are in the description below. If you'd like to submit a story, send me an email at somethingscary@snarl.com. Like and share this video if it gave you the chills. And don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and turn on the bell for notifications. And if you dare, follow me on social media. Until next time, my dark darlings, sweet dreams.